The new version of the Iranian-made 155mm self-propelled Hoitzer is now based on a 6x6 Iveco tracker truck chassis using the same HM41 towed Hoitzer mounted to the rear of the truck. The HM41 155mm towed Hoitzer seems is to be an upgraded version of the US 155mm M114 towed Hoitzer. In appearance the Iranian HM41 system is very similar to the South Korean 155mm 39 caliber KH-179 Hoitzer developed by the WIA Corporation, previously the Kia Machine Tool Company, in the Republic of Korea, ROC. According to technical specifications of the Iranian defense industry, it has a maximum firing range of 30 km with a rate of fire of 4 rounds per minute. The 155mm 39 caliber ordnance is fitted with a double baffle muzzle brake to reduce recoil forces, with the breech mechanism being of the screw type. The design of the new Iranian-made wheeled self-propelled Hoitzer is very simple, the HM41 is mounted at the rear of the truck chassis with direct and indirect fire sights. In firing position, a large spade is hydraulically lowered at the rear to provide a more stable firing platform. The Rod 2, or Thunder is self-propelled Hoitzer domestically produced by Dio in Iran and is a strange union of an originally American-designed turret and the Soviet-designed hull. Although the exact specifications of the Rod 2 are not known, inferences can be made by looking at what is known about the platforms it is based on. The parent turret comes from the American M109A1, a slightly modified variant of the M109 self-propelled Hoitzer. The A1 is quite similar, but has a longer barrel that gave the A1 a longer range than its parent, up to 18,000 meters, or just over 11 miles. The Rod 2 seems to have just this turret, though it is probably a reverse-engineered Iranian copy, rather than the original. The round both the M109 and the Rod 2 fire is the NATO standard 155mm round, which is one of the most common artillery rounds in the world. Some sources claim that the Iranian version has a longer range than the American M109, about 30 kilometers, or almost 19 miles. The Rod 2 shares the same muzzle brake system as its American counterpart for countering the high amount the Rod 2's hull seems to be the Iranian Bora, itself a copy of the Soviet-designed BMP-1, a 1960s era amphibious armored personnel carrier. Like the BMP-1, the Bora has dual tracks, though the hull is an odd choice for a mobile artillery piece, as the platform is relatively small and at first glance lacks the suspension and track width to support a large artillery system like the Rod 2. Most self-propelled Hoitzers are not amphibious like the BMP-1 due to their high curb weight, which tends to be quite top-heavy. The Rod 2 likely has a crew of three, similar to a tank crew, gunner, commander, and driver. Some later models have been reported to have a higher output diesel engine of Ukrainian origin. The Rod 2 is a prime example of what the Iranian defense industry does best, keeping legacy weapon systems alive through a combination of reverse engineering copies of foreign hardware and mating systems, like the Rod 2, that would not appear to belong together. The Rod 2 likely still has many more years of service before retiring. Iranian media hailed the Revolutionary Guards, IRGC, latest actions against the Kurdish separatist group PJAK. The fighting took place before the weekend in the country's northwestern border with losses to the Kurds reaching dozens, at least according to Iranian news. In the course of the operation, which lasted three days, the IRGC deployed UAVs and artillery. The latter included the HM-41, 
an obscure 155mm howitzer whose existence proves how capable Iran's state-owned military industries are. Footage and images taken during the fighting showed at least a battery of HM-41s arrayed on a plateau. Other weapon systems used by the IRGC were 130mm howitzers and Russian-made BM-21 Grad rocket launchers. The HM-41 is a rare example of 155mm tube artillery originating from the Middle East. Its only rivals are the Israeli-made Soltam and the Turkish-made Panther, both are towed howitzers of the same caliber. During the IRGC's battles against PJAK last week it was claimed laser-guided Basser shells were launched at unspecified targets. But the appearance of these munitions weren't revealed except for a comparison to Russian Krasnopol-guided artillery rounds. But the HM-41 does have a particular feature that may prove controversial its startling resemblance to the South Korean KH-179 towed howitzer. The present sanctions on Iran prohibit importing weapons from any state. But in 2011 a 6x6 truck howitzer was unveiled by the IRGC mounting a 155mm artillery piece on its bed. Before firing, a large hydraulic recoil plate at the back of the truck is lowered to the ground for stabilizing the weapon. The emergence of an Iranian truck howitzer was proof its military industries were keeping a pace with trends among NATO allies. 